Hey guys, it's Banner. Welcome back to Hexen. In the last part, we went through that place, and now we're gonna go through the swamp. I would like to actually go through the ice cave. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. I spoiled it. It's an ice cave. Whoa! Too nice for your um critique. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Yeah, that's the first thing you jump into this, and there's like a guy trying to kill you. Straight up. This one does have a lot of enemies, and in fact, since it's a cave, it's therefore the most complex map. Also, it involves shakiness. Just the troll. No effects, no nothing. It's just a troll. It's like that glitch in Team Fortress. You're just playing along and suddenly, whoa! <laughs> That's what Team Fortress does. It's a weird glitch. I don't exactly know how that would work, but okay. Also, there's these weird ledges. Watch out for them. They're not going to kill you because, of course, they, they only go, like, a bit, but, like, you know, you got to watch out. Also, grab a torch. Also, there's a lot of these guys. At least they're these guys and not the guys with the shields. The guys with the shields are pretty annoying. After all of this and I, yeah, go, yeah, they're pretty annoying. Uh, if you go down here, you can shoot these guys a little bit. And you can see, oh yeah, by the way, you see that platform kind of like dancing there? Also, by the way, you see that? We're going up there. That's pretty cool, I, I will admit. Although you can't, like, just because of Doom Engine, you can look up and see, oh, I'm going to be going up there. You don't really get that in the Doom Engine much, especially because, one, you can't do that without hardware rendering. You can't look straight up without hardware re rendering, nope. Which is why it looks a bit funky when you do. Also, that you can see that there's like lifts. The li there's like lifts. I'm sorry, I, I, I kind of stutter a little bit. We got the segment of Wrath Verge, that's the second bit. And you hear that. Wait, we got the second bit, but we're still in the first up. Huh. Um. I definitely know you can do stuff in this map, I just completely forgot where you're supposed to go in order to do Oh, you just go back up here. Okay, first of all, there's a guy there on the troll platform. Second of all, there's a guy over there on the troll platform. They're both on troll platforms. Okay, once you kill both of them, then this thing comes up. Now, you want to be really careful. And just in case. I managed to do this without dying in just a bit of a test. But... Just in case. So I don't trust myself on this platform. Also, yeah, then there's a bunch of enemies. Make oh. <laughs> I think I just landed on someone rather than actually hitting the ground. Pretty sure I did. Um, you want to make sure you've got your discs of repulsion ready, because... Spam them a few times, and you should be alright against those guys. But remember, you're going to need them. So anyway, one third of the puzzle is done. Now, you want to be really careful here. Also, you can see that that fire, that's basically just saying that you've done a third of the puzzle. Also, by the way, when you enter the second door, then these guys appear. Bunch of ifrits. You could technically jump down to that lower ledge, but why would you? Yeah, that's how you do it. Puzzle is complete. A uh, what? What? Ow! Why they deal so much damage? Why they just shoot me so much? Uh, anyway, grab the face, and then head back down to where that face was before. After hitting the floor. Um, I don't know. We're still going this way. Uh, if you keep going down here, this is where we were before. Also, there's a guy over there. I don't, I don't feel... Oh, gosh. Hello. Anyway, so this is where the face was before. You don't actually have to put the face in in order to keep going. Because that's, what's, that's what later is for. Later. There's a... Walk to the swamp. If we open the door, there should be... There's no enemy to greet us here. Huh. 
That'd be the perfect moment. It's just a nice entrance, and you get no one to greet you there. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, we were here just a moment ago, so we'll go up here, where we'll meet this guy, and his brother, and his children. Whoa, there's a lot of children. Um, a little bit of a headache. I don't know why. Um, anyway, you can see that there's like a blank. I remember doing this in the Fire Temple of the first game. Three more parts of the puzzle remain. First of all, how very nice of them to actually tell you how much remains. Um, also, it's kind of obvious how much of the puzzle remains because you can just kind of see, but... It's a bit intriguing, like... It's like, what? Okay, sure. Ah, uh, that's I got a helmet. My helmet is on three, apparently. And then, once you stand here, pull this switch, you suddenly activate this lift. This is a weird lift because it goes between three levels. It goes between a high level, a mid level, and a low level. We're on the mid level. I'm gonna go over to the high level just because the high level is pretty quick. Uh, first of all, there's a little bit of a drop. In case you want to get back to that bit. This high level contains quite a few enemies. Pretty sure you've noticed that by now. Also, you get a nice little chaos device which you can use to walk back to the start, which is very nice. Actually, use it's kind of interesting. I'm using all the items for once. Uh, pretty sure that warp wasn't. Hmm, that's weird. That was that wasn't even a set warp. Um, now, here's something see how this pillar is a little bit broken? You can actually jump up on it. That's actually where it's supposed to go. Don't fall too far. You want to pull the switch, and the switch will lower this which will in turn grant you another one of these skulls. Also, it says Flame Mask because of course it's it was from the Fire Garden. So anyway, you come back here. Oh, so there's a bunch of these guys. Um, so yeah, you just have shot the brown and then you gotta shoot these guys. I like these guys, they're very nice. I would play an entire game filled with them. Um, anyway. Drop down to the bottom, actually, because we need to go that way. I mean, we could put the skull back in, but also... I'm just saving on the kind of slot, just because. I remember dying here. In my kind of test. So, yeah, we got ice guys and we got fire guys. Something's going wrong here. Also, yeah, since it's easy, the ice guys, they're going to deal a lot of damage. So you want to make sure you've got your potions primed. Otherwise, they're gonna kill you. That's not. Imagine what your parents will say after that. Also, there's lava. Ice lava. Ice lava. Ice lava. Something's wrong with this world. That's not how lava works. I'm pretty sure the lava will be able to heat up the ice in this area just from around that corner. Um, kind of intriguing. Level designers thought the lava was gonna hit anyone from there. Also, though, you can walk around. Or you can just kind of walk around here. So yeah, first stage, ice physics. So you can go into this door, which will allow you to access the most important place of them all. Oh crap. Oh, that guy, stop it. You can lower this, and it just brings you back here. Is it a permanent door? I think it is, actually. That'd be pretty nice if it was, because then I could just kind of walk back over here without having to go through all that stuff. Yeah, I think it, I think it is a permanent door. And that being said, though, you can also walk back into the place with the f with the death wyverns. I just realized the kill count is so high right now. I think it's just because there's a lot of those easy guys. Also, you can cross the rocks. You can end up over here where you can pull a switch. And you gotta walk back. Cause why not? Walk across lava. So safe. Um now after doing all that oh. oh gosh. Oh gosh, what's expecting more guys to spawn? You can get you can get the you can get the kill counter to go up way high. I actually played a lot that had a really large map. It had just on the standard difficulty, five hundred and fifty two enemies straight up. Uh, it was a Doom map, uh, and it, it was pretty good. I'm, I, I can't remember what it was called. 
Um, uh, it was one of the. It was on the list of the best 100 wads of all time. I remember that. I know. I know. I know. We went back a little bit, but I remember. I. I. I, I remember just too late. There's even a gap there, of course. <laughs> it's like there's a gap. You can't save yourself from that. Um, <laughs> you may be going, what the heck happened there? The floor is not safe. You know, as it tells you while you're dropping. It's like I'm falling to my doom. Before I die, the floor is not safe. The old floor is not safe. That's what apparently it is. Um, see, <laughs> like, this is such a weird way of telling, especially because you tempt them, and then it's like, nope, that's not what you're supposed to do. How are you going to go up here first? Pull that first. I'm not entirely sure what that does. <laughs> it's weird, because I knew about that, and I still didn't even care. Um... Yeah, when you're building a new computer, by the way, I, I I was reading articles that said like, oh, the Intel HD 4000 is very good for graphics, and it's built into the processor, so it's really good. Um, I looked at benchmark tests. Don't think it's the best process, the best. Uh, well, yeah, it is a processor. Don't think it's the thing that will replace GPUs. You can use it, and it's good for. It actually scored really highly on on tests for 2D graphics, it scored pretty high on that, it, this is kind of a weird thing, I'm just saying, uh, but like, but like, if you, like, I, and it's also probably good if you want to just not have a GPU, because they're large, you know, GPUs have to have their own fans and stuff, have you seen the 690, the GX 690, jeez, it's got like, tons of stuff, okay, is, is the floor safe, the floor is safe, red as Helga's. And then it's like, dude, it turns into a lift. You know what? That's a pretty deep lift. Like, look at that. You don't want to stay on too long, otherwise it just goes back up. Also, you get enough flame mask. How many have we got? We got two. Still need one more, apparently. Pa apparently. Also, apparently it gets spawned right in front of here. Which is not the best place in the world to come up. Actually, to be honest, yeah, it's not its not that good of a place. Also, that permanent door wasn't that permanent. Not very happy. <laughs> also, I swear you could go up that lift. Maybe it's because I did, didn't activate it. So now we gotta go all the way around. Just to activate it. So we got the flame mask from there, the flame mask from up here. We got no flame mask over here. Okay. Also, you may be wondering. <laughs> I was about to say, you may be wondering, can you jump it? And you probably can, but they'll say you haven't completed the puzzle. Go back to, go back to the portal. I was, I was actually gonna look down, see if there was a big drop. I might as well put the things on. They don't really do anything straight away. It's just you know you need them for the puzzle, so. It's kind of intriguing that they would teleport you all the way back to the beginning. Not entirely sure why they would do that, but okay. Also. I'm a little bit not entirely sure where that last thing would be. I don't remember. I remember grabbing the thing by running. I don't exactly know. I can't exactly remember where the last thing was, but I think that door. I already went in this door the first time. Yeah, just forgot to go into it again. Oh yeah, because I died, didn't go. 
and then the game crashed on me. It just, it just crashed. Like, not like it stopped responding, but like GZ Doom like came up with a little thing I was saying. By the way, the game has stopped. Would you like to send? Would you like to send an error report to the guys who make the thing? Like, um, I know Sony Vegas does it, but you, you know, like the old-fashioned, the old-fashioned way. I don't know. The program has its own uh, error report sending in case if something goes wrong, and I'm going like, what? It's weird because it, it just kind of froze up, and then it was like, boom, dead. Boom. So, I don't know what was going on with that, and I completely forgot what I was talking about. You can thank the game for that. Also, you can thank the, ge the game for me going all the way back here. All the way back here. Also, there's a guy there. There's no birds. Hey, I shouldn't be referencing people who have more subscribers than me. That way, I shouldn't be referencing anyone. Nah. Of course, you can't base your entire your entire commentary on references I mean like why set yourself apart by scoffing other people I, I was gonna say stealing I was like nah referencing is not really stealing it's so weird I a lot of people reference on YouTube but they never say who they're referencing from so technically technically it's plagiarism in that sense even though they say they're not is it plagiarism if you say it's not yours, but you don't know where it's from? I guess it's plagiarism if they don't want you saying it. But it's just like if I say... To be or not to be... I didn't come up with that. Is that plagiarism specifically? I mean, like, we all know it's from, um... Is it from Hamlet? I I don't know. Don't say stupid. I I, I just finished like year ten. I, I don't know what's in the other years, and I really should know what to be or not to be. That is the bear bodkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There's another reference. Oh yeah, I was going through this door, and then it just crashed on me. But thankfully, I already went through this door. Already. Oh well. I have to look around a bit, but. Oh yeah, I went through this door again and it just crashed in. Yeah, we need to like look around a bit because I'm just looking at my map and I'm like, yeah, it's all surrounded by green. Pretty sure I've accessed all of it pretty much. Why would they design a bit of the... Oh. Oh, what you doing up there? Why would they design a bit of the level? Yeah. Why would they design something level, or at least the other two levels that we've done so far have all been self-contained? I've been able to pretty much completely clear them without needing any external stuff, and I'm near completion on this one, I just need one more thing. So if I can't... A lot of enemies, I'll tell you that. So if I can't... exactly... do this... then... Is that? I still really I need to activate that. That's probably what I'm missing. Light speed dash. Hello. Get out of there. Um. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whenever I'm lost, I'm like, quick look at the map. Quick look at the map. Have I looked at the map? I think I've looked at the map. No, I haven't looked at the map. I was about to say I feel in the mood for pizza. That I had that last night. Very nice cheese pizza with with double sauce. You may be thinking that's crazy, double sauce? But yes, double the sauce. You know what? I don't go di uh, in this direction. I di Sorry, I didn't go in this direction much. So if I go up here. So that's a lift. Hmm. Alright, so I definitely got the thing here. I didn't exactly check out the... It could be something in here. Because it definitely does look like there's a bit of wall. Wall. That they could put something in. But I'm not 100% sure, and I'm 
pretty sure it'd be kind of weird if they put like a just to be safe just to be safe I like how it's got even the um the previews in GZ Doom I think that Doom does it as well I think the original Doom actually does it um <laughs> but it's kind of weird because it even happens like across maps it's just determined on what PWOD you're using like for example in, in Doom I, I, I play quite a lot of custom mods on that and it saves the picture despite the fact that I'm not playing that same WOD specifically. It's very nice of you, Ed. Did you oh Thought so! And I'm guessing that's death. It's burning my butt, so it's definitely not good. I was think ah uh, well. It didn't take me that long, it only took me like a couple of minutes to find that. Um, and then they all respawned. These respawning enemies are kind of, kind of crazy. There's how many of them there are. How often they come up. I mean, dude, I'm expending almost all my ammo on it. Puzzle is complete. Huh. Okay, so I guess it was a jump. It's so weird. You'd think there would be like. They would put like a platform up, but no, it's just a jump. And I'm just like, what? Um. What's the quickest way to get to the. Get to the start? Because the start's kind of far away ish. This way, I guess. Tully is pretty tall. There you go, that's the quickest way to start. Anyway. We've still got two left. I'll see you guys next time. Or put those other two in. Or not. <laughs>